Hey everybody, tune in to another Fremont podcast. Obviously I'm going uh, going a little off of the usual article. This was more of a, a reminder, a polite rant. Something that Aaron Clary has talk, uh, talked about before, about degrees. He, he mentioned about worthless degrees. Uh a joke in, during my times was underwater basket weaving, and I think it used to, it became under uh, interdisciplinary studies. It became humanities, various humanities, like a philosophy degree, an ethics degree. Um, I actually wanted to focus on management, like business management. This. Part of it is a personal story. Part of it is like a reminder to people, other people that think about engaging in this. I, when I started, I had a very loose plan about what I wanted to do um, when I went back to college. Um, I had at one time been in charge of a small maintenance group when I was in the Navy. Um, I'm not the most handy. I'm probably in the middle range when it comes to technological, uh, uh, like skills, like, uh, tool pushing maintenance and things like that. Tool pushing is not the right word. Uh, it's a robbing the oil community of that one. But I decided to go back to school and I had a GI Bill money. And I had a desire to learn. I couldn't, I didn't picture myself uh, being stuck in, in kind of the same position over and over. I uh, had an idea, I'd known of companies that had development programs. They had, um, I mean, they'd get people to, people out of school with some experience and they could get them. Uh, into a program where they learn about the company and help run things. Um, I had management stuff. I had toyed with doing that before when I worked at a company. I'd rather not say who they are, but the company is not around anymore. I think they moved most of their operations to Mexico, of all places. They had the program in Ohio more than around here, but I decided to go back to school. I wanted an opportunity and tried to, I guess, something that would aid me in my career. I'd always heard, hey, if you want to move up, you know, it's things that'll help. Either that or there's always some job skills you can learn from this degree program, what have you. And a lot of people don't remember I had associates and a technical uh, background. One of the weird things is that I had some rough time at work. I've lost a couple jobs. Things have been a challenge. Might have not been the best fit, what have you. But when around the time I was going to graduate with this program, um, I did learn a lot of good things. It, it almost... Uh, borrowed from a bunch of different areas and for the most part if you would end up a supervisor of some sorts it would help you in a in, in a it would help you in a job i think it would help uh, even if you moved beyond a supervisor superintendent type job and the irony about part of this was that the degree is not going to be the tool that you think it is unless you're the right kind of person to begin with. And it's not a slam on the learning process. I liked learning about marketing. I liked learning about... Um, there was some legal stuff I learned about. There was uh, research. I, 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 you were like, oh, you know how to research. I was like, I did 
I did uh, papers. I enjoyed it, although it not exactly tied in with where I worked. And uh, I told you marketing. I told you uh, certain other business stuff, um, accounting. And yes, accounting only helped me uh, helped me with other things outside of my work, but. Unless you're a good pick for a job like that, this degree will not help you. It, it won't hurt you. I don't think it's hurt me. I had to leave it off a resume to get a job, which isn't the most honest thing to tell anybody, but it's the truth. It, because everybody thinks just because you have a degree doesn't mean you need a job. And I've seen that. Because it's easier to hire a guy without a degree to be a supervisor. Well, anyway, the the whole thing about the whole management degree debacle is by the time I was ready to graduate, and I had started on this degree when I had gotten fired. I had gotten fired from somewhere. I had actually got my associates right after I got fired. And then I was working on it when I got a new job, and there were certain parts of this job that were actually looking better and I was trying to get into a management program. They had a development program, training program. And the one company, um, we ended up, the company ended up uh, losing the contract to another company. And I still couldn't, uh, it still wasn't, I guess, the most helpful thing in the world. Um kind of lost contact they did away with the program of all things i wasn't there a very short time in that job that i went to go talk about you know talk about a program talk about being able to advance and i had several things that other people didn't have um i did have the technical program associates and then i was getting uh, i was about to graduate with a bachelor's degree and at least wanted a connection, wanted something to, wanted to get all of my life, maybe a future. And when I went to go talk to a, a, a corporate management HR, one of the ironies behind what happened was uh, they had budget cuts and we ended up having uh, three rounds of layoffs. And they really couldn't tell me that's why I... I couldn't get into that is because they were going to lay a bunch of us off and they really needed me to stay in the job. And then the third round is when I had left by them. But I did learn going to another job I'd left instead of getting laid off. Uh, I was turned down for the job uh, for a training program because um, the company sold the asset I was working at, and I basically, legally speaking, could not go into that program, and I couldn't get anybody to cheerlead for me to get out of that legal hold. Um, I wasn't mad, per se. I was at the time, but I, I got over it. Um, I was turned down for another job that I think it would have helped. And I understand why. I mean, I'm not mad about it at all. There was another position uh, in corporate I looked into doing, and um, they just blew it over. Even though it was an internal transfer, they just blew it over. The person behind the hiring quit, and it happened twice. <laughs> person quit and just quit their job and disappeared and nobody ever responded about the e these emails and um, about if they had hired anybody and the the how I had heard about that person not being in the company is I filed a complaint and take a while I guess yeah they're like this person doesn't work in the company anymore and I found out they had quit and went to another job um, I'm not a victim of circumstance. I do laugh about weird events like that.
But I did want to tell you, unless you know that you are the right kind of attitude and you're a shining star in the eyes of the people above you, or they have you have just the right kind of niche to the niche and connections, a degree like that will not be the boon that you think it is. Um, you can put in for all the little programs and internships you want, but in the long run, you're, you know, unless you're a wizard at writing resumes, which I I'm, admit I'm not, this degree will not be what you think it is. Now, it's helped me one a couple of my little hustles. These are like little money hustles. Uh, people have asked me, uh, asked me questions about some of this stuff. Uh, I, I could pick through my books, uh, references, and things like that. I've had you know cultural uh, understandings and things like that. People have asked me, but I mean, I look, folks. I got usually a management degree would get you in the door to get a sales job. I've been turned down for. Mo I've only had one sales job offer, and I turned it down because. And I'll leave a link down below. I think I talked about it before. The, the guy, the guy, the lead salesman, the way that he talked about the people in his company and that worked underneath him. Yeah, I, I turned it down because there's no way I'm going to work for that guy. He's a jerk. He's a bigger jerk than I am. But you got to look at things like this. There's other companies like selling technology. And I couldn't get a job selling tech, like a equipment. And this is like business to business. This isn't like pure commission. This is like traveling around, like preset, putting together uh, uh, demonstrations and putting to not demonstrations. Help me out here. Um, putting together a, a slideshow and showing the technology, trying to cut through the clutter and give these people at these factories, you know, hey, we know that you have this problem. Here's a solution. That's our product. This is how it works. And being worked, being have worked, uh, being previous, uh, how about this? I have previously worked in a factory. I've worked for different companies. I've worked with technology. I've had my hands on equipment, whole nine yards. And the thing is that it would have been a good fit. Probably dodged a bullet. Probably these people are the ones that never take down their ads things like that i mean i was going to sell uniforms uh do a uniform executive uh a route not a route executive but i was going to be like uh, uh uniform sales and for like plants and things like that which is a big deal i think i bought dodged a bullet i was like they didn't care that i had a, a degree which is weird they didn't really ask about that. They asked me nonstop about why I got fired, and then they wouldn't stop probing. And it's funny because, anyway, the person in charge was not human resources at all. It was actually a, a former salesman office manager, and this person was stressed and didn't care. I was going to tell you, I said, is it a worthless degree? It's a worthless degree to probably 90% of the people getting it. And you're better off getting certifications like PMP. You're better off getting, there's some other office certs. There's a, uh, obviously there's some minor IT program certs. You can get, um, show them that you're good at using scheduling stuff scheduling stuff, uh, the office management software, um, uh, CSM type, uh, not CSM, help me out here, uh, D7I, stuff like that, use D7I, SAP, things like that. Well, anyway, uh, folks, thanks for listening. Um, if I could encourage 90% of you not to get one of these degrees, I would tell you to go get, uh, certifications or technical type uh certifications uh help 
get your hands on stuff, take classes, um, put it under your skills thing, and uh, keep your keep. I mean, keep your options open, and don't be disappointed if life throws you curveballs. Um, your degree might not help you because you might be the wrong kind of person. I hate saying that, but I was. Um, well, that wraps it up, guys. Um, uh, hat tip to Aaron Clary. Looks like douche thing, but my hat's real. Uh, Aaron Clary, and that was uh, Worthless. He's in a, I think his book on Worthless. Um, I'll probably do another one soon. Uh, that's the one I know of. Uh, somewhat right. He's pretty much on the ball about some of it. Um, anyway, have a good one, guys.